Hi, I'm Sheila Wedekes and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be working on the Black Lab, defining his shape and getting him to be more prominent in the painting as we continue. So, let's start. I'm going to mix some paint, a little bit of this blue with some alizarin crimson, and using a smaller brush, now start to work and get some of the angles and the shape of his head so we have a better definition of him. I was thinking this morning as I came here to the studio that how even though I have been painting labs and painting in general for probably over okay 40 years um, there's always that moment where you go, oh my lord, am I really going to mess this up? But then I thought, okay, in all of that experience and painting every day, you put that aside and have the faith that you can do this because you know what you're doing. And as an artist, you will know that this is your job and you do it well. And thinking on that line too, I have to say hello to my youngest granddaughter, Kelsey, who is a tiny dancer and works as hard or harder with her dancing. Um, <clears throat> proud Grammy moment, sorry. Um, but as we continue with this, this is going to be the line where the water comes in and wonderful how his ear goes under. What I'm doing here is getting the angle of that line where I bring it down here to get the exact measurements and I will also do it again to get this back line of his neck. <clears throat> and you'll see me do that every so often just so that I know that my drawing is right on. Okay, and get the center line of the dog here so you get the correct angle as you're going. Okay. And this is where I notice that his paw is going to be lower than where I had originally put in yesterday. And the bend of his leg, I will measure to the tip of his nose and bring it right to about here, and then it extends out. And I can do that because it's going to be water, and just an indication down here. Make sure that it's back. Okay. And this will be the water. So let's, whoops, I know what I forgot, his ear. So I will measure from the tip of his nose again, and I see that it does come out here. Sammy will be happy to have an ear. And I think in the background you're going to see Sammy peeking behind me. A wonderful day with our friend Ray. We went to the dog park and Sammy was hanging out the window. And from that I was able to paint that great painting of him, which I just love. Okay, now let's go into darken that. A little bit heavier paint. Add a little bit more blue to that. brushes. <clears throat> and get this cute little face in. Okay. And 
and his bottom jar is under the water, so I'm just going to put that in lightly and then bring this in. You see, it's still not too heavy on the paint. And I will go back to that as we bring the water in, but it gives you okay. that initial input. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is add a tiny bit of white to this mixture. And this is where I go in and start, maybe a little bit more, <clears throat> bringing in some highlights. I paint in an expressionist way so that I can get the feel of the dog rather than, you know, the exact As you see, I, it's hard sometimes to talk and paint at the same time. <laughs> I think it's much more interesting in a painting rather than having a, just a plain face portrait to have him actually doing so you can capture his spirit. This is where I look and see, okay, what's the fur doing? And try to get an indication of that. Okay. Just go in and put a little bit of so some highlights with. Um, Radiant blue. Gamblin does uh, puts out a color of radiance. They do radiant colors, and they really are wonderful. And I use this right out of the tube a lot, and it just brings in a great color. Okay. I don't want to go over our time today, um, but I did want to show you this start of this process where tomorrow we'll go into more of the water, more detail on the dog, as you see, doing the hairs, and so what I'm going to do is leave you for today with that and come back tomorrow, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.